Hey there, and welcome back to the Zoom Playground. I'm Betsy Sabatini, and today we've got something new to dive into. If you haven't heard, Zoom meetings recently rebranded as Zoom Workplace. So the menus and the toolbars are all new. In this video, we are talking specifically about live broadcasting from your Zoom meeting using the latest features so that you can appear in front of a much larger audience with just a few clicks. And in addition, guess what? Facebook changed the way you live stream from Zoom into your Facebook groups, but I've got you covered, right? Uh, before we jump in, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you never miss out on the latest tips and tutorials. We've got a lot more coming. All right, let's get started. Okay, well, it all starts here inside your Zoom meeting, and you must be the host in order to do these steps. You also must have a Zoom account, which is not a free account. You don't have the opportunity to live broadcast from a free account. So you'll see all of that here underneath the more menu. There you go. And so right from there, underneath more, you'll see live broadcasting. Again, you're in a brand new Zoom meeting. You start the live broadcast right from here. Now you're going to see these other options on this submenu. It's going to say either live on Facebook, live from the workplace on Meta, live on YouTube, and then live on custom live streaming service. Now these settings only come up if your Zoom settings are set appropriately in your account. And that's a whole nother topic. You can view our YouTube video on how to set up your Zoom account for success. So from here, you're actually not going to pick live on Facebook. I know that's not the way. You're going to come down here, which is live on custom live streaming service. And when you click there, what happens is you see this other screen open up in your browser. So you can see here, Zoom, this is Zoom now saying, all right, we're about to live stream, but we need a few pieces of information from you. And that's what you're seeing on the screen. And so now to find these pieces of information, this might be completely new to you too, but I'm going to show you where you find this over in Facebook. We're looking for the streaming URL and we're looking for the streaming key. And then finally, we'll talk about what your live streaming page URL is. Now it all starts here in Facebook. So you need to, at this point, to prepare yourself for this next part, the next steps, is to make sure you are in your free Facebook group. And for me, that is the Tech Playground with Betsy Sabatini. And what you're going to do to get this going is you're going to start a new post. And then in the new post, in the bottom right corner of the new post, click where you see those three dots. And then in the next menu, you're going to pick Live Video. And when you do that, you'll get these two main options. Yes. In order to live broadcast from Zoom into your Facebook group, you can do it right now, or you can say, I'm going to go live at a specific date and time. So for this exercise and this tutorial, I'm going to take you from going live right now. And in order to do that, you need to click the button at the bottom of that one box where it says go live. Now, don't worry. You're not going to go live right now. It's going to take you to another page which is called the Facebook Live Producer. And as you can see here, it brings up another screen, which can get a little bit busy for some people who don't know anything about streaming software. But I want you to see this screen in three parts, right? The left-hand side, which is the part that says, what have you done so far? Have you done the post? Have you set up your streaming software? Are you ready to go live? And then the middle section, as I scroll it, you can see there's more to come, but that middle section right at the top, make sure that you've got streaming software selected. That's why it's in blue. Then underneath there, you see the next section, which is called streaming software setup. And we're going to need that streaming key. So you're going to copy that by clicking the copy button. And then you're going to work your way back over to that screen that we saw, which is up in the tabs there. It's still waiting for us, that broadcast meeting. So we're going to go there in a moment. But notice underneath the streaming key, there is an option that says advanced settings. And in there, you've got some other options. Now, I will recommend to you to turn on the persistent stream key. And that way, Every time you do this, when you turn on the persistent stream key, you do this every time, you won't have to copy and paste the stream key each time. It'll be persistent, and that's what that means. 
And then finally, you see the streaming URL and the streaming URL needs to go with us as well. So you're going to copy that. I'm not going to copy it right now because I've copied the other piece of information first. And that was the streaming key. So now watch this. So once you've copied the streaming key, go back over at the top. You can see there the broadcast meeting screen that we came to is still waiting for us. Now be careful here. The URL is in the first spot here, and then the streaming key is in the second spot. So make sure that you are copy and pasting correctly. Now you can paste in there with a keyboard shortcut. You can, if you have a Mac computer, you can do command V. If you have a Windows computer, you can do control V and that will paste it in there. If you don't want to use your keyboard, you can always right click with your mouse and then choose paste from there. All right. The next piece is the streaming URL. So let's make our way back over to the Facebook group. Just notice that at the top of your browser, you've got two tabs open. And from here, you're going to copy the server URL. Make your way back. And that's in the first position here. And then we're going to paste that as well. All right. So, so far, we've got the streaming URL. We've got the streaming key. And now finally, we need what's called the live streaming page URL. Now you could get this right from your Facebook group settings, but I'm gonna tell you that it is something like this. It's definitely a full URL, which means it starts with HTTPS, and then it's facebook.com, and then it's groups, and then it's usually whatever name you've given your group, if you have, or it's a number. My group name is the Zoom expert. That's my username. I know it's the tech playground, but Back when I set up the group, in the group settings, I was able to customize the group name and group URL. So this is going to be specific to your group settings, and I want you to put your group name in there. So it has to be the full URL, and then you're going to click Go Live. You do not need this last checkbox checked mm -hmm. off. When you click Go Live, it does give you this notification that Zoom is preparing the live meeting, but you are not yet live inside your Facebook group right there. So it says it's done. However, you need to return back to your live producer right here. So here we are. These are all the pieces of information that we copied and pasted over to Zoom. And it shows that we're prepared. So Zoom now is saying, okay, we got it. We're sending you the stream. But Facebook needs to now say, all right, now we're going to go live. And you see that down there in the bottom left corner, there's a blue button that says go live. So you're going to go ahead and click there. And then it just prompts you, you know, have you indicated that this is going to be a live video inside your group? You need to add a title and the title is listed here on the top right corner. So I would say, you know, how to go live from Zoom to your Facebook group something like that, because that's what I teach. But if yours was the actual live video for the day, you would put that title there. So here, I'm going to put something like join us. There you go. So now in that bottom left corner, when you click go live, that's exactly what happens. And what you're waiting to see is just wait, you'll see this screen will change. There it goes. So you see, hey everyone, I'm gonna say hello. I am coming to you live from inside my Zoom meeting. I'm testing out the new features for going live from your, your Zoom. And here's the behind the scenes. We're actually recording for our YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, the Zoom Playground. And I see, I see that we're live. This has changed. The all new way to live broadcast is what the new Zoom workplace calls it. And there, I think you can see, yeah, you can see my my host toolbar. So inside the, the new Zoom workplace and this whole menu has changed. So you want to know how to do this? You want a tour of the new workplace? Please comment and I'll give you all the information. Now we have a brand new mini course coming out as well. So if you'd like that, all about how to host your, your Zoom meeting from the new Zoom workplace. And it's a good one. It's a mini course just to get you started. Comment here, say Zoom mini course, and I'll get that to you as well. All right. So I'm going to get back to our work here. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to stop the live stream inside here, which I can do in the upper right corner. It's a little moment. You can actually stop your live stream, but keep your recording going. I've got a, uh, a YouTube video on that too. At this point of the live stream, we are saying goodbye to our viewers. Watch how I end the live stream in three, two, and one.
So once you've stopped the live stream with the way I just showed, you keep your Zoom meeting going and you can even keep the recording going. And if you want to know more about recording inside Zoom, definitely check out our video on how to record both from the cloud and locally. And there you have it. Live streaming your Zoom meetings is a game changer for businesses, educators, and creators. So if you're ready to take your virtual events to the next level, make sure your Zoom is up to date. Check out our video on how to do just that. Thanks for joining me here on the Zoom Playground. Remember to keep exploring, keep innovating, and keep on Zooming. Until next time.